If you draw the mouth in this way, you have already learned it for portraits. First, draw a line to determine the position of the mouth suture. After determining the mouth suture, draw the position of the upper lip and the two corners of the mouth. We need to determine it, and then connect them into a line. This line has a curve. It is the curve in the middle of our upper and lower lips. After drawing the mouth line, we draw the curve of the upper lip and the position of the philtrum. Then, with the position of the philtrum as a reference, we can change the shape of the lips in different shapes. When drawing the lower lip, usually, the lower lip should be slightly thicker than the upper lip. In this way, the size of the lips has been formed. Let's use a rub the pencil of the pen on the paper to make the side of the pen flatter. Then, use the tip of the pen to paint the gray side of the lips. The gray side of the upper lip should be slightly lighter overall, because the upper lip is a side of shoguang. The gray side of the lower limbs should be slightly heavier. Okay, if there is sweat on our hands, we must wipe it clean and keep our fingers dry. Then, use your fingers to gently rub the texture of the skin of the upper and lower lips, that is, to rub the lines more densely, delicately, and softly. When drawing the upper lip, we need to use a tissue. The tissue will be rubbed out more evenly. Okay, sometimes when rubbing, some dirty colors will be brought out. We use an eraser to gently wipe it off. Then we need to draw the three-dimensional sense of the lips when we go down. We want, from the direction of its growth, the upper and lower lips are both convex and curved, so we will know that the color of the upper lip is at the bottom. We will add a layer of darker color, and the lipstick line should be drawn at the same time. The lower lip is drawn in the same way, and it is a convex effect. Then we draw the projection of the upper lip on the lower lip, so that the upper lip wraps the lower lip. Then the edge line of the lower lip should be darkened to make the lips feel convex forward. Okay, students, now our line is not even enough, so rub it with a tissue, rub it as a whole, and rub it as a whole again. You will find that the three-dimensional sense of the lips will gradually emerge and become stronger and stronger. When adjusting, if we feel that the color of a certain place is lighter, we can slightly darken it. The purpose of darkening is to enhance the three-dimensional sense of our lips. Lines, and then rub it with a tissue. Have you noticed that the volume of the lower lip is getting stronger and stronger? Okay, then, start shaping the upper lip. Draw the projection of the upper lip, and the three-dimensional sense of the entire upper lip has emerged. Okay, use an eraser to brighten the highlight of the upper lip. That is, the highest point of our light, the highest point has highlights, and then draw the lips. Then we draw the light and dark boundary of the upper lip. The light and dark boundary is to make the object more three-dimensional. We must deal with this place delicately. The left and right sides of the lips are the same. Then, the upper lip has some lip textures, one by one. Use an eraser to gently rub out the texture, and then rub it with a tissue. There is a small depression at the bottom of the lower lip that should also be added. The texture on the car is too obvious. It is not real if it is too obvious. Okay, students, take a look. This proves that there is a texture on our lips. The texture is drawn in a cross-shaped way. So when we draw the texture of the lips, we must make it closer to reality and more delicate. We must also pay attention to the highlights of the upper lip. If the eraser is too big, we can use this knife to cut it and cut out a small pointed area, including our mouth sutures. Pay attention to its undulations. Finally, students, take a look again. A sexy and plump lip has been drawn. We have many kinds of magical sketching methods for individual facial features. It is different from the traditional sketching method. If you want to learn more about this method, you can subscribe the channel for more videos. Also like and comment on the video.